Your own creative outlets are now allowing you to see that this is what has been upgrading your consciousness, as those souls that are still stuck in duality are finding it very difficult to be creative at this time. We of the angelic realms, as the Galactic Federation of Light are here by divine will to connect with those souls who are open to our assistance, and those souls who are star seeds and light workers that are not are on their own pathways, and we embrace the decisions of all, whether a soul chooses to hold on to ego attachment, or to release this, to be more in the space of their own consciousness. It is only our focus to gracefully disclose the process of ascension, that is laid in front of you now, and that is where your own faithfulness within, is then able to be filled, is then able to be embraced as you rise into a heightened awareness of your true nature. We as your family of light ask you to notice that such information that we disclose to you, is only able to be accessed by those of the higher dimensions, meaning, only highly advanced souls can explain such information to you, in such detail. Are you able to sense this by now, as the judgments, of where this information is coming from, of mind attachment to feel? that we need to list every name that is talking through the many beings of light here in service to you at this time. It is then only important that you focus within, as you release your outer attachments, and your attachments, to ego-centered living, then you are able to then enter into a deeper core conscious connection of your true self. We often talk about embracing your true nature, as the only important part of this process is that you are able to feel your own divine energy within, as you then feel a natural balance in your own life. We, as the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians are here to then bring you along into a new adventure, where all of the worries you have known in third dimensions, disappear, as you focus on the presence within yourself in this moment. The end of time is not in a date on the calendar. And if it was then there would be no 2013, no 2014, as clearly you can see that the end of time, is able to be embraced now. Do you see that with the collapse of the third dimensions, it is taking place in this moment, not in six weeks, not in two years, not in ten years, not in one hundred years, but all within this moment? It is then where you are awakened to a new sense of being where you exist now, beyond the space of time, into the balance that is then recovered inside of yourself. By the consistent dedication to be more in consciousness-centered living, then you know that you are releasing all of the illusions in your life, that the mind tries to still keep as real, that the mind still tries to attach to as reality, when your true nature, exists beyond all mind attachments. Do you see this is how you embrace your true self now, as you then release the fear of not knowing, of guessing, into an intuitive knowing of your own being? Knowing can only be accomplished when you exist beyond the ego, when you exist beyond attachment to the body, as you notice, when you are asked, how do you know you are eternal, the mind can only say, I don't know, I guess so, maybe. I was told this, I studied this, I believe this, but it can never say, it knows for sure. Are you able to see the reason behind this now? It is from your ability to awaken to see that you are not the mind, you are not the body, so why pretend that you are, and draw yourself into more chaos during this dramatic shift in consciousness? We of your family of light then come to each of you, as star seeds and light workers to know who you are, not to believe who you are, not to guess who you are, not to look to us, as your family of light to tell you who you are. That is not why each of you, as workers for the light have come here, to awaken to who you are within, and this only occurs, when you release what is not the true you, including your attachments to the mind, and the body. We see many of you starseeds, and light workers asking us now, how can I do this, when all I know is information, lessons, good and bad, a body of pain, of suffering? It is true, 
You have been taught suffering. You have been taught that you are only your body. You have been taught many lies, illusions, about who you are, to keep you in duality. Now, it is up to you to exist beyond this prison of mind and body attachment, to feel the presence that you are within. We often ask you questions, to see the state of consciousness you are at, as when you respond in a harmful way, meaning you focus on anger, or sadness, then it is a clear sign that much releasing is still in order, to rise into source. We of the angelic realms, of the Galactic Federation of Light, ask you to see that many souls have incarnated here on this planet to help with the ascension process, that have come from many star systems, and planets, outside of this earth. Yes indeed, that means that there are angelic beings incarnated here, there are extraterrestrial beings here on this planet at this time, and humans are not the only species that is in a physical form, outside of the many other creatures here on this world. The many beings of light here from other planets, are what you consider to be very young, meaning much of these incarnated souls are in the ages of the early twenties, to the thirties. The reason for this, is not so that many souls here on this planet, will attach to mind judgments of saying, you are too young to know such information, you are not qualified to know such information, but to show you the truth of the higher dimensions. Our star crew does look young indeed, with the average age being in over a thousand years in age, and yet still look to be the age of 24 to 25. This will indeed shock many souls, who felt that those souls in the starships, are green men or women, that are very short, and look very different than any being on this planet. No, many of our galactic crew exist in bodies that are considered to be humanoid meaning they look as much humans do, only they are fully conscious, meaning, many of us are beautiful looking, we have bodies that do not age, and are extremely wise. There is a balance in all of the non-aging, and it is from our ability to not age in the body, that many planets we visit now, that are open to our ascension process, are open to the abilities we have. As we see the clear problems of your world, in having souls that age in physical bodies, that have such body pains, illnesses, and such. For this reason, we are here to offer an end to all of this insanity, and confusion, so that you will too have a body that does not age, and your prime state is able to be realized again. Are you able to now see, how we are all young, and wise? in our intentions to connect you to the same use now. We have a responsibility to offer reality to each soul, that is open to our guidance at this time, so that you will be able to then exist beyond the veils of illusions, of belief systems, of suffering, of anything that keeps fear alive on your planet, as it is quickly leaving now. We of your family of light have many questions, Asking how you are able to see a quick end to fear, when so many souls exist in fear, in division, in duality on this planet. Those souls that choose to release this fear now, will be the ones that embrace this new reality, in the new earth, while those souls that choose drama, that choose harm, that choose ego attachments, will be the ones that will soon relocate, to other planets of their choice still in duality. It is then where you are able to access the dimensions of pure harmony, and abundance inside of yourself, all taking place in this now moment, by your choice to ascend. The faithful dedication that you then bring into your own reality, is where you know that your own consciousness, is rising, the more you trust your intuition, as this is what is allowing you to exist in the higher dimensions. We of your family from the stars need our intuition in the higher realms, as this is what allows us to tell when those that are here to harm this universe are telling lies to us, this is how we are able to tell when such souls are saying one thing, and secretly planning other things. Are you able to sense this by now, as you climb in the ladder of ascension? 
by your own dedication to be more trusting of your own intuition, then you are then allowing your own presence to then be glorified and magnified into that of a divine being of light. We send you much awareness and truthfulness by your intuitive knowing. We are the angelic realms. We are the galactic federation of light.